Pro Senior Goalie Skate. $850. Was it worth it? Is it still worth it? Am I moving on to something else? What I like, what I dislike. I'm going to get into all of that. So um, I came from Bauer Ultrasonic Skate. I've always been in Bauer Skates, I think my, pretty much my whole life. Maybe CCMs when I was younger. Um, things I really love about these skates. Uh, they are so incredibly lightweight. I can't uh, I'll tell you this offhand, but they seem to be probably the lightest uh, goalie skates, uh, top level, elite premium level skate uh, that's available on the market. I've tried two piece trues custom, they are heavier. I've, tr I've not tried, but I've felt a one piece custom true, they are very heavy. Um, the CCM skates uh, are of a similar weight, but I know CCM doesn't seem to be releasing anything new, at least. Nothing that I can find on Pure Goalie or Goalie Monkey, so I will say uh, a huge pro of these skates. Uh, they are probably the lightest goalie skate on the market. And Bauer is probably going to be sticking with this as their top level um, goalie skate that is laced, at least for the foreseeable future. They're spending all their time on the Connect skates, uh, which I'm debating getting some this year. I know there's a refresh coming. Uh, in May 2023. Really want to try those on. Heard a lot of mixed feelings about those. Uh, what else do I love about this skate? Um, insanely protective. I get shots off the toe constantly on these things. And although this is, you know, scuffed up, of course it's going to happen. You're rubbing the post. You're taking pucks. I've not felt a single puck. I'm taking, um, you know, pro level slap shots in these things from AHLers, um, former NHLers, haven't felt a single thing in these skates. So they are incredibly durable in that sense that uh, you know your toes and your feet are gonna be super protected. Um, originally when I was reviewing these skates when I had them for the past like, or for the first month I should say, um, I had a lot of issues with the wear and tear on the inside of the skate here. Um, happy to say since that's happened, um, the skate has held up well. Um, some stuff did rub off, but you know, that's just the nature of the beast when you're playing hockey four days a week. Um, and just for context, I just play, you know, adult league, stick and puck. Um, you know, I'm not playing on like a serious team or anything, but I am on the ice quite a bit. And, uh, you know, these skates have definitely taken a beating over the past year. But like all in all for a skate that's a year old, these things do still look really good. I mean, obviously wear and tear that's going to happen on a skate. Nothing I'm terribly concerned about. Um, the only like things like durability wise that I might be somewhat concerned about is right at the top of the tower or the holder. It's hard to get in camera, but there seems to be like a little separation happening on the boot in places. You can kind of see here in person, the plastics are separating a little bit. Nothing I'm overly concerned about. Um, I probably could wear these for another year and be just fine in them. Uh, let's see if I can see it. There it is. That's a great view. So right here you can see, you know, the plastics are just separating a little bit. Does it affect the skate at all at this point? No. Long term, maybe. Uh, you know, anyone who's wearing skates five days a week for a year, you're probably of a pro level or playing somewhere significant that you're switching at your gear constantly. Um, most people who are playing, uh, you know, just rec league stuff or maybe wearing these one to three times a week, these should last you a really long time if you don't like switching out your skates. Um, so durability is fantastic. The weight on these things, fantastic. Um, something I want to talk about is, you know, the comfort of this skate. I'm really torn on them. Um, the tongue, amazing. Uh, true two-piece custom tongues. I know you can pick a whole bunch of customized options, but just not nearly as soft and comfortable as this tongue is. Haven't had any issues. 
uh, the Pro Comfort liner on the ankle. This stuff does not dig into your ankle at all. If you lean on it, if you're deep in your butterfly stance, it sits really nice on your ankle. It's really, really comfortable. Um, everything about the skate from like here up, so, so comfortable. Um, definitely where Bauer has some catching up to do is just the comfort of the bed of the skate. Um, so about seven months into these skates, uh, I decided I wanted to just try a true custom two-piece skate just to try. And that was a mixed bag, but um, the boot of that skate was, as you hear from many people with true custom skates, the most comfortable boot I've had in a skate. Now, I got them obviously with the stock um, tower holder for true and so what is it, step steel, I'm not sure what exactly it's called. And I felt like a giraffe on ice. I couldn't laterally move very well at all. And I don't know if that's because the towers are you know, different or just you know lean you differently than a Bauer Vertex holder would. Um, but like I had three or four skates in the true two pieces, loved the boot, hated the tower. I just couldn't get comfortable in my stance. I couldn't move like I could in these skates. So I sold them went back to these. I wish I would have tried the Vertex Tower now that I sold them on the true two-piece custom skate and see if that would have made a difference. But I was worried about customizing those skates, or excuse me, um, screwing up those skates but putting in a new tower and then trying to resell them if I still didn't like them. Um, so the boot at times, I have had issues, just like my toe rubs in a weird area. I did get scanned. They put me in a size 10 fit one. They fit radically better than previous skates I've had with Bauer, so they are a little bit more form-fitting, comfortable in that sense, but um, you know, Bauer doesn't customize as much from what I understand as a true two-piece skate does. I know Bauer does do custom pro-level skates, um, but uh, on top of them being more expensive from what I'm hearing, they don't actually mold the boot to your foot specifically. More so, they're just taking different pieces and Frankensteining them together. Don't know that for sure, just what I hear offhand. Um, but you know, all in all, this is an amazing skate. 850 bucks for a bowl skate. I mean, comparatively, the true TF9s are gonna cost you 650 as of you know early 2023. Sizes are hard to find for that true TF9. I did try those on. Again, I just didn't like them as much as these Bowers. Um, your other options for top level skates are the Connects, which are hard to find right now. There's a new one releasing. I do have my worries about Connects with the buckle system. If you've read some of like Traff or Euler's reviews or some other people's reviews, I'm super concerned about the buckle breaking because if a buckle breaks on a Connect skate and you don't have the replacement buckle and you don't have a backup pair of skates, I'm assuming you're kind of screwed in the meantime. <laughs> Uh, for skates because uh, if that buckle breaks you're gonna have to wait what a week or two for Bauer to send you a replacement buckle So um, yeah, I'm, I'm torn on these skates. They are a thousand percent um, The you know best skates I've ever had They are light. They are protective. Um, I can move great in them Things I don't like just some foot pain again. Everyone's foot's different. So everyone's gonna have a different opinion of them um, but like if you're just looking for like a solid overall skate and you know just don't want to spend that thousand plus dollar custom money but maybe a little bit cheaper go with these Bauer Pro Senior Goalie Skates they are fantastic Bauer makes quality product um, they do usually stand by their product if they have any issues I have had trouble with some warranty items that are just over the warranty um, you know they are beat up but listen like I said I'm on the ice five days a week for a year um, you know, I just wish I had the money to buy gear as often as I'd like to buy new gear, but you know, I can't spend a thousand dollars every year on every tiny little piece of equipment, skates, pads, helmets, blockers, gloves, chest protectors, neck guards, sticks, knee pads. I mean, that stuff just adds up to ridiculous prices. So, um, overall what I recommend, yes, a thousand percent. If you're worried about the connects and the buckle system and you want to go old school laces, these skates are certainly worth it i like them better than the true tf9s i tried two two-piece custom skates the boot on the true is more comfortable i would recommend if you're used to a bauer skate get the bauer vertex holder and steel on the true skate i feel like that might be the, the sweet spot you see some pro guys a lot of pro guys that wear true two-piece custom skates have the vertex holder not everyone um, but those that do i do notice quite a bit um, so yeah, 
uh, that's my review. A year with these bad boys. We'll see what happens next with the new pair of skates. If you have any questions, comment below, and we'll talk to you soon.